Speaking of college basketball, WSA 9 is your one stop shop for all March Madness content with first round games starting in two days. We know many of you have already begun building your brackets, but what are the actual odds of picking the perfect one? It's something that's never been done before, according to the NCAA, picking a perfect bracket. Think you can bust that statistic this year? Well, the odds of picking all 64 teams correctly is one in, yeah, that's a lot of numbers, 9.2 quintillion. But if you know a little bit about basketball, your odds are better, one in 120.2 billion. That's according to the NCAA. Now, despite those despicable odds, the NCAA says 60 to 100 million brackets are filled out every year. And typically, they're free, so anyone can do it, making it even more fun to participate. It's the underdogs who will win the games. It's the unknown. It's the pace of the games. It's it's a action-packed three weeks. Lori Kalani with sports betting website DraftKings says they see a surge in business during March Madness. It's an extremely busy time of year. The American Game Association estimates Americans will legally wager $3.1 billion on the men's and women's college basketball tournaments this year. That's up from $2.7 billion last year. Sports betting is now legal in 39 states. It's become a multi-billion dollar industry and continues to grow. Certainly the smartphones have made everything more accessible, but with technology have come great opportunities to really play responsibly. Kalani says DraftKings has tools to help players set limits and budgets on their bets. March is also National Problem Gambling Awareness Month, a reminder to gamble responsibly. All right, so we know no bracket is perfect, but guess how, when's the last time somebody, well, I'll just tell you, 2024, oh, somebody came year? close. <laughs> okay, how same, close did same, they get? Well, in the first round, the very first round, mm -hmm. got all the way to the last game, had predicted every game correctly, okay. and then the last game they missed it. They of blew the up first the, round? The very first round. So that's how, that's how slim and, the odds are. Yes, and blew up, blew up round. the entire bracket because okay, he, he missed. Yeah. Yes, and then the previous, right. well, in 2019, there's a guy who actually, these are verified, by the way, mm -hmm. actually made it all the way to the Sweet 16 okay, before an is, upset. That's that was what in I'm 2019, talking about. but all that right. was an upset, and then that blew up his bracket. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so it's, what you're saying a, is I don't have a chance. Well, you know, there's always retire the, there's a statistical always a chance. chance. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, but speaking of chances and challenges, we want you to join us on the March Madness Fun. We've got an NCAA bracket challenge up and running on our website right now. You can fill out that bracket and compete against the members of the WSA 19. Mm -hmm. They would be. All right. Allison, What's the lineup? What's the starting five? Allison Seymour yeah. from Hampton University. Point guard, coming in as a point guard. Yes, Annie Yu from George Mason Power University. Power forward. Wisdom Martin, point guard from Jackson State and University. How, now, how are both of us going to be point Well, guard? you got to give up the ball. Oh, what? And then there's Jonathan Myers <laughs> from Penn State yes. University. He's playing center. He's, not this. He's playing center. Uh, <laughs> the code on your screen <laughs> We'll take you to that bracket challenge and, and visit WSA9.com and search for bracket challenge. Good luck. So and he wants fun. to be the shooter. All right. Y'all can figure that out. Yeah, I got the ball. Y'all can be point guard. Bring it down the court. I'll be waiting right by the hoop. <laughs> Later, we'll do one-on-one -on -one to determine who the point guard will I'm be for WSA9. All right. Jonathan.